First tonight, Quincy police are asking drivers to avoid Broadway from 4th to 5th streets for several hours tonight. QPD is responding to a crash that happened around 5 p.m. According to officers, the crash resulted in several injuries. However, QPD did not elaborate on the extent of those injuries. According to witness statements, a car was driving at a high rate of speed westbound on Broadway, ran the red light over here at 4th and Broadway, collided with another car, resulting in a chain of other accidents. Police say the driver who ran the red light then tried to run from the scene. Authorities stopped the driver and took them into custody. QPD, the Adams County Sheriff's Office and EMS all responded to the scene. We will continue to bring you information as it becomes available. The lives of the four victims in Friday night's fatal accident. Tonight, Tri-State residents gathered to honor the Corrick boys' lives and their grandmother, Jeannie Hendricks. We were told the parents of the three boys tuned into the vigil via Facebook Live to hear support from the Quincy community. Lucas and Molly, if you're watching right now, the mom and the dad of, of these, these three precious babies that were taken too soon, we want you to know this community's for you. This community's praying for you. We're rallied around you, and although we're not close in distance, we are praying hard for you. A GoFundMe page was also started for the Coric children. So far, they've raised nearly $59,000 in just 24 hours, and that was just about a half hour ago. Talk about people really coming together. If you're wanting to donate, head over to KHQA.com for the link. Good evening and thanks for joining us for KHQA News at 5. I'm Amber Robb. Our top story, a woman accused in a fatal Quincy crash claiming the lives of a grandmother and three children now faces charges. 36-year-old Natasha McBride of Quincy now faces reckless homicide, leaving the scene of a personal injury accident and driving while license revoked. Adams County State's Attorney Gary Farha says his office will work tirelessly to ensure that McBride will be held accountable. This is a, a case where I do not believe that there's adequate offenses in the law um, so far as we've seen that can um, really do justice. Um, you know, these, she faces very severe penalties, but I'm not sure they're enough. Farha says more charges may be filed later as more evidence comes back from the state crime lab. McBride is in Blessing Hospital right now. When she's released, authorities say she'll be taken to the Adams County Jail where she'll be held on a $5 million bond. Make no mistake, this was no accident. That's the word from the Adams County State's Attorney's Office, who announced new indictments against Natasha McBride. She now faces new indictments for first-degree murder in connection to last Friday's crash at 4th and Broadway Streets. Adams County State's Attorney First Assistant Todd Eiler says evidence gathered from police, multiple cameras, and data recorders suggests that McBride knew exactly what she was doing when speeding through the intersection. The new indictments are in addition to the initial charges filed earlier this week. They include reckless homicide, leaving the scene of a personal injury, and driving with a revoked license. To call it an accident means that she didn't mean to uh, plow into someone or uh, hurt herself, and we don't believe that that's what the evidence is going to show. No word yet if McBride was under the influence during the time of the crash. Authorities say they're still waiting for toxicology results from the Illinois State Crime Lab. Mental health resources are available for first responders who responded to the tragedy. And although they are trained in these responses, the type of scene they faced is something that you can never truly prepare for. The horrors that they saw on that evening will stay with them for the rest of their lives. And just like the families affected, they will never forget this. They will never get over this. They will only get beyond this. The Adams County State's Attorney's Office says charges could be adjusted accordingly as the investigation continues to unfold. That additional information is uh, evidence that may or may not exist from the Illinois State Police Crime Lab. And upon receipt of that information, if that information supports the filing of additional charges, I believe it is safe to say that our office will not hesitate in filing additional charges. McBride will be transported to Adams County Jail when she is released from Blessing Hospital. Authorities say she'll be held on a $5 million bond. Reporting in Quincy, Sarah Rosenthal, KHQA News.
The driver of a fatal Quincy car crash appears here at the Adams County Courthouse for the first time Wednesday afternoon. I'm Raja Maples with the details straight ahead. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Amber Robb. Our top story, the driver accused in a fatal crash in Quincy claiming the lives of four people makes her first court appearance today. KHQA's Raja Maples joins us from the Adams County Courthouse to show you what happened. Natasha McBride was released from the hospital and appeared for the first time here at the Adams County Courthouse Wednesday afternoon in front of Judge Bob Adrian. She appeared in a green jail uniform and a cast on her foot. Judge Bob Adrian read through all of the charges against her, including several murder indictments. McBride is accused in this fatal car crash at 4th and Broadway Streets in Quincy, August 14th. It claimed the lives of four people. KHQA spoke with Adams County State's Attorney First Assistant Todd Eiler following Wednesday's court hearing. What I would remind people is to allow this case to uh, run its course and don't rush to a judgment because that could have, da could have damning consequences later on for everybody. Judge Adrian appointed public defender Todd Nelson to defend McBride. Her next court appearance is September 2nd. Meanwhile, Eiler asked the public to keep the family in their thoughts and let this case run its course fairly through the judicial system. In Quincy, Raja Maples, KHQA News.